Good morning, everyone from Uplift Academy. I um, hope you're having a great start to the week. So for this kickstart on Monday, I'm going to keep it simple, keep it brief. Um, one of the conversations that I've been having with parents quite recently is how to encourage their child to um, expand on their answers. And it can be a lot of reasons why your child isn't. But one of the, the best ways in which um, you can help support your child in doing this, um, because as I say, at Up Love Academy, we try to find out exactly what the issue is and then work um, with your child to, to uncover this and then to build on that. But one of the, the biggest problems that we see is that they are, you know, students tend to be unsure of, you know, what to write and they take it for granted that what they've written is that, that, that's understood, right? And so as parents, what you can do with your child at home is just to question them, asking them to, you know, justify themselves. So, for example, if they, they make a comment, an opinion about something, ask them why, what makes them think that way. And then also, if you can, offer a counter. And it can be simple. Obviously, if you can relate it to what they're reading and doing, that's great. But if not, for example, let's say you're having a discussion about a favourite film or a favourite food. Let's say, for example, they say that they like, or one of my students says that they like Mars bars. Well, ask them well, why, what is it about the Mars bars that you like? And if they say something like the, you know, the nugget, the, the caramel, ask them, well, what about Snickers? Why don't you like Snickers? Um, and in doing so, it gets them to start to critically think and it gets them to start to justify. So naturally then they start to, you know, expand on their answer, they start to break it down. And then in terms of texts, when they're sending them, you know, see if you can ask them, well, why do you say that? What is it about it? So for example, one of the metaphors that we like to look at is love is a fruit. And I spoke with a, a child and a parent and the, uh, and the question was, you know, what is the, the, the writer's attitude towards love? And initially they said that they really liked fruit. Now, what they said um, is a great, you know, they've inferred well, but it doesn't really answer the question. So instantly the parent wanted to, to correct. And it's first important to acknowledge and encourage. You want to be positive as well. So that's the other tip I would say is be positive. So rather than just saying, oh, you've not answered the question because nobody wants to be slapped down, tell them, well, actually, that's a great insight. Why do you say that? Oh, because they've used love. They're, they're using fruit and they're, they're comparing it to, to love, right? And you say, that's great. Now look back at the question. What do you think you need to add to, to be, make your answer you know, more relevant to the question? And if they don't know, you can then help them to, to break it down further. So can you see that step-by-step -step process and it's just questioning them? So that way then you're getting them just to think about it from a different angle, getting them just to expand naturally on their answers so it doesn't feel so forced. Um, so please let me know in the comments um, whether you're going to take this on or if you've got any questions at all. Otherwise, have a fantastic Monday. We look forward to unleashing um, further tips tomorrow for Tuesday's tips and some exciting news coming soon. Bye for now.